Okay, we are in Clovis, California, and we have just finished setting up 40 gallon Bradford White propane water heater. I uh, we went ahead back behind here, you could see maybe, maybe not. Uh, there's the existing gas was back there, so we went ahead and put a, uh, a 90 on, dropped down another one, and brought the gas valve out to here so it's a little more accessible. And a brand new gas supply line over to the controller. That was not in the scope of work, the valve and the supply line, but I like to see things new in here, so we went ahead and replaced it anyways. Put in the adjustable straps, bottom third and top third, which is code. And then up here, went ahead and put uh, two new ball valves, hot and cold. And uh, that was not in the scope of work either, but uh, the old ones uh, were not functioning correctly. They were gate valves and they uh, were just a little old and corroded. So brand new quarter turn ball valves in and then brand new corrugated stainless steel supplies Falcon, uh, by Falcon Stainless. Uh, tied back in brass nipples and couplings on the top to make the transition and uh, vents tied back in and the only problem we have here is this relief line which goes back to that wall we tied it in and it is plugged off so it's either terminated somewhere dead ended capped off not real sure don't know where it goes we'll look at it a little bit further but other than that we recommend that this uh, pipe be stubbed in through uh, the wall here, uh, two options, one uh, back side of the closet which is the room behind this water heater, uh, you either need to cut open sheet rock uh, up about 12 inches and drill all the studs out to the exterior wall and bring it in or go ahead and surface mount it which means just drill through the sheet rock here into the closet area, slide all the way through out to the exterior and tie the relief line in. Outside of that uh, everything is installed and we are done.